Hello artists, it's fall and it's time for us to start doing some fall themed art. I'm going to have us drawing some pumpkins today. We're going to think about five little pumpkins sitting on the fence and we are going to draw those pumpkins with different faces, different sizes and a nice nighttime sky. So follow along with me and I'll show you all the steps to make your pumpkins sitting on a fence. To get started, I'm gonna keep my paper the long way and I'm gonna get out my brown marker. I'm going to go ahead and make my fence posts and I do that by making a few straight lines down my page. Those are gonna be my fence posts. I don't want them to go up too high or I won't have room for my pumpkin, so I keep them down here toward the bottom. The next step is I'm going to draw a line that connects from the side of my paper to my fence post. And then I'm gonna connect these two, and then these two, over here and to the edge. And that's the first part of my fence, the top part. Then I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna draw a line that connects from the side to my first post, then to my next post, and I'm just adding all the different pieces of my fence. Now I'm gonna do it one more time. One more straight line. And I make them a little different every time. So it looks kind of like an older fence where some of them might be crooked a little bit going a little up or down. Okay, and now I have completed my fence and so have you. The next thing we're gonna do is draw the outline of our pumpkins. We're gonna draw five little pumpkins sitting on a fence. We can draw a nice round pumpkin sitting on the fence. I have seen some pumpkins that are really tall and thin, so I could put a tall and thin pumpkin on the fence. I could put a little short and wide pumpkin sitting on the fence. I could do another kind of taller pumpkin and maybe a real skinny pumpkin. So it's up to you. We're gonna put five pumpkins. One, two, three, four, five pumpkins sitting on the fence. The next thing I wanna do is give these pumpkins some faces. So I get my black marker and we can do little eyes we can do big eyes, we can do round eyes, we can do triangle eyes. The triangles can go up and down like this, or we can put the triangles upside down like that. It is up to you. We're gonna make sure all of our pumpkins have eyes. Then we're gonna give our pumpkins some noses. Their noses can be triangles. Their noses can be round. You could even give one a square nose if you wanted. We've got eyes. We've got noses for our pumpkins. Now they need a mouth. We can give them a smiling mouth. I can give them a mouth where I put the teeth coming down and then I color it in dark. So it is up to you how you wanna design your pumpkins. They can be all different sizes, big and small, tall and short. You can give each of them a different kind of smile. I could give this one a wiggly smile. We can give them different expressions. I could do an open mouth here smile like that where I leave it open and color it in. I can give one a little tiny mouth where it looks like he's going, ooh, so you can decide how you want to make each pumpkin have its own special, unique 
base. The next thing I'm going to do is get out my orange crayon so I can color these pumpkins in. So I'm gonna get, oops, I don't want my marker. Get my orange crayon and I'm gonna color each of my pumpkins all the way in. So go ahead and color all of your pumpkins. Now that you've got all your pumpkins colored in with your orange crayon, you can get your brown crayon and we're going to give each one a little stem. And so some of the stems might go straight up. Some of the stems might have a little curve. They can all be different, just like your pumpkins. They might have a little skinny stem. They might have a short, wide stem. But give each pumpkin a little stem with your brown crayon. And then we're going to add some little leaves. So you could put a little piece of the vine that kind of goes in a swirly line and you can put a little leaf on each pumpkin. Those pumpkin leaves are looking great. Now I'm going to get my green crayon and I'm gonna draw all the grass that is growing right here in front of and under the pumpkins. And you can draw right over your brown fence because it'll go right through and just show where that grass is really growing all the way up. And go ahead and keep coloring that green all the way through. Now you've got your grass right underneath your pumpkins growing on the ground. And we need a background for these five little pumpkins sitting on a fence. We can draw a nice big harvest moon up in the sky. There's a nice big moon. And I'm gonna color that moon in yellow with my best coloring, making sure that I am keeping that nice round shape of my moon. And then if you want, you could add some stars. You could add some clouds. You think about what does this fall night look like behind your pumpkin sitting on a fence? All right, here we go. I've almost got my moon all colored in with crayon and now I can work on my clouds. I think I'm gonna draw a nice poofy cloud here and a cloud here and maybe one going this way and maybe one right here behind these pumpkin guys. Okay, I am gonna go ahead and color in those clouds with the blue to make it look like it's nighttime. They're not big and white and fluffy now. It's dark outside for these pumpkins and the clouds have a dark blue color to them. So I'm gonna color in all of these a nice dark blue. And when I'm done coloring all of these in a nice dark blue, I'm gonna make my sky dark too. I'm thinking it's a nice dark night for these pumpkins with a big glowing moon. So I am going to draw my sky purple to show that dark, dark color of the sky. And I wanna make sure I go around my moon so I don't get purple on my moon. Kind of taking my time, going around my clouds and I'm gonna fill the whole sky in with purple and my clouds in blue. Now that you've got your sky a nice dark purple and you've got your spooky blue clouds, you can add some extra details if you want. You could always take your crown and make some little swirly lines with your purple to show some wind blowing in the sky. If you wanted to do that. You could get a red or orange crayon and maybe put some little leaves on the ground because that always looks nice for fall. You could put a little fall red leaf down here just to show that it's fall and some of the leaves are falling on the ground. And then you are finished with your five little pumpkins sitting on a fence just like the book that we read. And when you're all done, I can't wait to see what you have created.